Hey, what's up guys? It's Dun Nintendo Explorer back with uh, another video. This one's actually be a, a quick take and the uh, reason for it is that Nintendo just announced that they're going to be doing a Nintendo Direct today. Um, it's a huge one. It's not just because it's we haven't had one in almost two years, um, but in that it's 50 minutes long. So this one's as long as or longer than most of their previous on, um, you know, their E3 Directs. Um, so this one's big, possibly going to be a lot of big news in there. I don't know if it's just going to be tons of different things or just a few things that they're going to go really deep into. Um, but we'll find out in a few hours from now. And I guess I just wanted to um, I guess discuss uh, one of the uh, leakers has been posting some stuff and just give a few takes on, on his leaks. So it's a prominent leaker and um, I guess one of the things they've been posting for this direct to pay attention to is um, it's going to be strong third party support and they specifically outline Capcom as having a big presence in this which makes sense since we do have the uh, Monster Hunter game coming up there was also a couple of uh, other games there for the um, the Windows Capcom leaks King um, Platinum Games to have a uh, big presence as well in this direct so we'll check out on those two and see what they've got cooking um, also brings up and mentions some Fire Emblem news, um, some Zelda news, which obviously makes sense because this is the uh, Zelda anniversary and everybody's waiting for all the big Zelda news. So we'll see, and I guess we'll find out today um, if we're going to have any Zelda remakes or what kind of remakes and if um, what's going on with Breath of the Wild. We'll see all that today. Um, there's also a Mario sports game. It doesn't specify which one, so we don't know if it's a sports mix. Or if it's one of the next in line sports games, I think a lot of people have been speculating Mario Golf. We haven't gotten the Mario Golf game, and that would probably be next in line in the same way that we got the Mario Tennis. So um, that's something to look out for. And there's also supposedly a new IP that's going to be showing off. Um, don't know if that's from Nintendo specifically or if there's just another company working with Nintendo um, doing a new IP. But supposedly there'll be a new IP showed off according to the leaker. Um, most of the games will be the games that are um, for spring and summer in 2021. However, a few of the games, there will be some stuff for next year. And I guess specifically the Metroid Prime Collection, which makes sense. I was saying before, and I did say in my prediction video, um, we'll probably get the Metroid Prime Collection. There's too many rumors for that to not be a thing. Um, but that's going to be closer to Metroid Prime 4. I think Nintendo's going to want to wait until they're ready to start talking about Metroid Prime 4 before they release the uh, Metroid Prime collection. So if this rumor is um, legit, the fact that they're talking about the Metroid Prime collection and they're starting to show it off already and it'll be ready for next year um, gives me hope that we'll get some Metroid Prime 4 news fairly soon. If not in this Direct, maybe for um, the E3 Direct later in the year. And then finally, there's also supposed to be a 2D Metroid that will be released in late spring. Again, that also makes perfect sense if the Metroid Prime stuff is still on hold. Um, and we have the Metroid anniversary. Nintendo's probably going to want to throw something for Metroid. Um, keep getting a lot of rumors for the uh, 2D Metroid Prime, uh, 2D Metroid game. So we'll look for some of those things. Um, 5 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to do a reaction to it. Um, so see you guys later. Thanks.